What is up everybody, I'm hoping you're all well and welcome back to my Film Friday series, a series in which I use my handy little My Movies app, give it a little shake and whatever movie it randomly selects from my collection is a movie that I will review for you guys. So to give you a little example, basically I'll just show you this, I'll give it a little shake and whatever movie it shows up with, in this case Hannibal, that would be the movie that I'd review for you guys. Would that be an example? Let's do this again, if I can go away. We'll do this again. And uh... The movie I'll be reviewing for you is uh, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. Oh, what a choice. What a choice. Does this app just hate me or something? Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life. That title is a mouthful. So Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life is a sequel to the Lara Croft movie originally starring Angelina Jolie returning to the main role and it sees her on the hunt for this Cradle of Life that she needs to get to before this group of mercenaries do who plan to use its power for evil. So like the first movie cheesy, over the top and ridiculous. But personally I prefer the first movie over the second movie. Like these movies are not good movies. They are clear guilty pleasure films that I can have a bit of fun with but I do prefer the first movie over to this one. I just feel the first movie because it was directed by Simon West who's known for directing those over the top action flicks that you can just sit back relax and shove popcorn in your face too but he was a really good choice to direct that first film that's the type of film that he was going for and that's the type of film we got however the director for this film Jean de Bont who I'm probably mispronouncing his name there just didn't feel like he was at home with this type of genre. Now I'm not familiar with his other works and I haven't looked him up before during this review but there's a few scenes in this film that do feel very horror-esque. There are quite a few well done horror elements in this film that make me think that the director is more comfortable focusing on horror films rather than over the top action films. And because of that I don't feel like this director was the perfect choice to helm this film. That being said though it's not a terribly shot film. The action sequence is while clearly using stunt doubles and is very choppily edited here and there are still fairly well shot. But when the movie does take a more horror-esque turn that's where the director really does shine. For example there's a seen in the woods that follow these creatures that seem to hide in the shadows and blend in with the trees and stuff like that, very supernatural type creatures. And while it could have been done better, I do feel like that was a very effective scene, although the reveal of the creatures themselves I feel could have been done better. It built up fairly well and while it could have been built up better, I do feel like the reveal of the actual creature eventually could have been more impactful. That being said, the rest of the movie is fairly well shot and the acting in this film is fine. I mean, the main cast members do seem to have it up. Angelina Jolie seems to be enjoying her time as Lara Croft. She definitely suits this one. You can see that she's having a lot of fun while playing it. But I do feel like this movie took itself a bit more seriously than the first one did, whereas the first one was a bit more hammery. It was very self-aware. And in fact, when the more serious scenes do happen, I just feel like the chemistry isn't there with any of the actors, especially Gerard Butler's character. Don't get me wrong, they have a nice dynamic. They have some good back and forth, but I didn't buy into their relationship. And because I didn't feel like they had that sort of chemistry throughout the entire runtime of the film towards the end when a certain thing happens I just didn't care I didn't really feel for anything I didn't feel for Lara I didn't feel for Jared Butler I didn't feel for any of the characters to be honest the only characters that I feel Lara has any connection to is her tech guy and her butler which down out between those three that entire trio is a lot of fun to see as for the villain played by Kieran Hines he's not bad in this film but I feel he could have hammed it up a lot more I do feel like he's taking this a little bit too seriously his introductory scene is actually really good and if he'd have kept that sort of tone throughout the rest of this film I feel like he could have been a very over the top comedic villain whilst also having a many sides the tone of this over the top cheesy action flick but because he came off a bit too serious I didn't really buy into him as a villain and I've seen him play villains in other films before and he's very good at it but for some reason in this movie he just took it far too seriously and I do feel like that was a downfall for his character the rest of the cast are all fine obviously there are a few supporting characters that are just ridiculously over the top and the dialogue doesn't help with that. The script itself isn't well written, it's a pretty shoddy script in terms of dialogue especially. The story itself is intriguing, it's enough to keep you interested throughout the runtime of the film. Although there are definitely parts in the movie where it does drag out a little bit too much, I feel they could have cut a few things here and there. The movie itself is nearly two hours long and I don't necessarily feel like it needed to be that long. While the CGI effects in this movie aren't great, they're definitely not as bad as some of the movies that have come out in recent years anyway. It's definitely noticeable but it's not throw up in your mouth noticeable. Over while Lara Croft The Cradle of Life isn't a bad film, it isn't one of those guilty pleasure films and I kind of hate that my app randomly selected another guilty pleasure film in my collection, I'm pretty sure my app hates me. But if you're in the mood for dumb, over the top action fun, I recommend watching the first Lara Croft and if you do enjoy that, maybe check out the second one but I don't necessarily feel like you need to. It's certainly not as good as the first one in terms of over the top action but it's still a rather enjoyable ride. Angelina Jolie does a good job in this film, you can see that she does enjoy playing this character. And while I feel we could have got someone better behind the camera to helm this film, it's not a terribly shot film by any means, it's certainly not an inf offensive movie, it's certainly watchable. And so for all those reasons I have to give Lara Croft Tomb Raider The Cradle of Life two stars.
So, Lara Croft Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. Have you guys seen it? What were your thoughts on it? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks to those for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And if there's more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will see you all in the next video.